Hey guys, I'm gonna show you how to Huey coil a head on a Mini Cooper, uh, but for most vehicles it's gonna be the same process. So we're basically, it had a blown out spark plug, so it blew the threads out, so there's no threads for the spark plug to actually tighten into, so that's what we're gonna be fixing. All right, so this is the kit that I bought. So you're gonna to wanna to make sure you check what thread pitch your spark plug is, which it says right this is mine, it's an M14, 1.25, and then this is the actual brand here. Uh, this kit itself was about $90 shipped off of Summit Racing, but when you open it up, that's quite a bit of goodies inside. Plus the tap, has all the new threads, all that good stuff. All right, so the first thing you're gonna do is take this part, you're gonna get the chaser here and you just slide it in like so and then once it's in all the way you're going to tighten that set screw which just takes an allen wrench which happens to be a three millimeter allen wrench so that's what we'll use all right so the next step is you're going to need your three eighths ratchet and what I did here was I threaded it in by hand and it's getting pretty tough because it's actually cutting in right now. So what you're gonna go ahead and do, you just wanna make sure everything's straight. For mine, it's pretty hard not to get it straight because this literally fits perfect in there so I can't go on at an angle. But you always wanna make sure you're going in straight, not an angle because then you just screw it all up. So now we're gonna go ahead and get the uh, ratchet on here all right so you'll basically ratchet it in uh, just like quarter turns at a time it's gonna start getting tough and then it'll eventually just stop. That means you're all the way in. And then once you're in, you're gonna slowly back it out. And so, and be careful, because you won't be able to see it really, but actually you might. Because the only problem with this, that they didn't really say. I don't think it's gonna let me focus on it. Anyways, there's some metal shavings down there, so we're gonna have to get those out. So what I'm gonna do is kind of rig up a shot back to vacuum up what I can get. And then for the remaining stuff that's still in the cylinder, um, I mean, you might get lucky and it'll go out the valves when you start the car. But what I'm gonna do is leave the spark plug out and then crank the car so the compression will blow the leftover stuff out. All right, so the next step, you're gonna need an extension, the one, um, the correct size, of course, for your vehicle. So you use the extension, then you use the adapter that the new threads will screw on. So you got a choice of a few different sizes here. So you'll wanna take your spark plug, mine's right here. That one's dirty, grab another one. Alright, here's another one. So then you're gonna find. Excuse me, I'm just screwing this one on. So you want to thread the new thread insert over it, and you just want to make sure it doesn't actually cover the spark plug where it sparks. So let's try this again. So now that's the right insert, you're going to screw this on. 
to this piece. And what you're going to notice is on this, it has the rough part right here. That's going to be facing upwards. So you're going to install it onto the thread insert, um, that part at the top. All right, then you're going to use this, which is called a swedge, once you get the thread insert in. And then you're going to use it to kind of beat in the insert. And so that's going to cause this part to kind of spread out and actually grab into the head.